Hey everyone, welcome back again. Today we're doing something really cool. We are just going to redesign some real website using Gemini 3 and I'm gonna give you the exact prompts we use so you can try this yourself right now. If you have been following AI development, you know Gemini 3 is changing the game. It's faster, smarter, and honestly, the crudy possibilities are insane. So stick around as we break down everything you need to know to get started. Before jumping to the fun stuff, let's quickly cover what Gemini 3 is. If you already know, feel free to skip this part, but for those new here, Gemini 3 is Google's latest AI model and it's a huge upgrade from the previous version. It's faster, it's understand complex instruction better, and it can generate code and creative content at level that's honestly impressive. Think of it as a design partner that never get tired never complain and always has a fresh idea. The best part, you can use it for free or with a paid tier if you want more features and priority access. Now let's see that how we can get access to Gemini 3. So first of all, we need to go like aistudio.google.com, then you will get to see something like this type of like interface. And now you need to select the agreement, both of these, and you need to click on this continue button. After clicking on this continue button, then you will get to see something like this. And here we need to go to the build option. And here we can just write our prompt and we can select the model what we like to go ahead. For right now, I, I just select here Gemini 3 Pro. And here we can write prompt. And here we can attach some images or PDF or any text file, whatever you want. And this is like the build option and below you will get to see your recent prompt also if you go to the gallery then you will get to see some more examples that people have made and here is your apps and also if you like to access nano banana then you can access from this playground option okay let's go to the build option again this is the secret sauce a good prompt is giving a designer a clear brief a bad prompt you'll get a bad result so let's talk about what make a great Gemini 3 prompt and here is a formula. Number one, be specific about what you want. Instead of redesign this website, say redesign the homepage of Airbnb to have a minimalistic dark mode aesthetic with a focus on search functionality in a header. Number two, include the reference style. Tell Gemini 3 the design style you're going for. For example, modern minimalistic, retro 90 or glass morphism or cyberpunk or luxury brand aesthetic. Number three, mention your target audience. This hill, design it for Gen Z traveler enthusiast versus design it for luxury travelers will give you completely different result. Number four, be clear about the deliverable. Do you want HTML code, a design concept, a wireframe description, say it exactly. For example, generate a clean production ready HTML and CSS code. Number five, constraints. Constraints actually make things better. Use only three colors. Keep it under 500 line of CSS. Make it mobile fast like this. So here is an example prompt you can copy. So if you see, this prompt is pretty much clear like what you want is totally mentioned here. All right, so let's actually do this. I'm gonna redesign a real website live and I will paste the exact prompt I'm using. Okay, so I just paste here the prompt. So we are just going to redesign the Netflix homepage. So also let me go to Netflix and let me take a screenshot. Now let's click on a build button. So where you can see like this is the build like Gemini build here. Um, okay, this is something top 10. Okay, okay, this is like Neo Neonflix, something like this. The website looks pretty nice. Like the, if you look at the UI, it's it's not really bad. It's it's really it looks good. So if you look at different version, also you can just reply to the prompt that okay, I don't like what you give to me. Uh, let's redesign it again. Then they will give you a different variation. Also, this is on my different account, and as you can see, this is the design they have made. It's pretty much similar because I do the same prompt here also. And it, this is, I mean, it's not also so bad. It's also looks good. Honestly, it's better if I compare both of these, both of them are good. Let's do another one. 
this time we're going for something completely different. So this is the prompt, as you can see, and um, this is for Airbnb website redesign, and we really want a luxury minimalistic aesthetic. So I go to Airbnb website, let me take a screenshot from here, simply just take a screenshot, and let's go back here, simply drag and drop, and let's click on this built button. And also I will give this prompt in my description so that I can easily copy and paste. So here we can see the result we get, and this is totally insane, I mean, I really love it what they give. So this font and font combination, if you look at this, this is pretty nice. Um, this is definitely giving an a luxury feeling if you see carefully. Okay, also at the same prompt, I tried in my different account and this is the result in here. This is also really good um, with the different idea as you can see, but both are really great. If you, if you see the result, both really great. I love both of them. For this one, I wanna show you something special. We're just going to redesign a website and then I'm going to ask Gemini 3 to modify based on our feedback. So this is the prompt. And also I'd like to take a screenshot here from the google.com. So let me take a screenshot and let's upload it here. And let's click on the build option. Also in the meantime, um, if you, Go here on the, on the playground you will get to see like enable safe option so make sure you just enable it um otherwise you will not get to see your recently view or recently created options so you'll totally get to see totally blank so make sure that you enable here the safe option from this playground option so yeah let's go back to this page as you can see now it's thinking it's take a little bit time for building everything so here, as you can see, we get this one and this is the links and Gmail images. And here's my profile also. And here we can type basically, and this is search and I'm feeling lucky. And so many notifications that's about bottom of here. Also, I do the same prompt here on my different account and this is what I get. Um, this is looks similar, pretty similar as you can see, uh, but both of these I like, okay? Now let's reply on a prompt here. So this is my follow-up prompt. So let's see what they're giving us. Also, let me reply here in the same on my different account. As you can see, when I change my account, they're give, giving different result or different design for in a, in a different account. So on my this account, as you can see, they cut an error and they try to fix it. On my different account, they already give it a result. And yeah, this is, looks pretty nice, as you can see, with an uh, effect when there's a server in it. Yeah, I can type it. I'm not sure it's gonna work or not. Let's search it. Oh my gosh. It's loading, like it's connecting something. Oh, okay. They also given a result here. That's pretty much like interactive also. Let's see my computers and there is a campaign. Yeah, all looks pretty much good. And this is responsive also, but it looks like totally broken. Maybe on our prompts, we, we don't mention that we need a responsive, otherwise it's gonna be responsive though. But yeah, this is pretty pretty nice. Um, I like it. And yeah, here is also we get a different one. And this is, as you can see, different design with the gradient colors. Uh, and let's try something. Let's search it. Ah, oh, okay. Turning up the internet. So yeah, this is also good. Um, oh my gosh, as you can see, here is the result also they found. Okay, this is also nice. Now let's redesign my own agency website and let's see that how Gemini Tree is performed. So as you can see, I generate my prompts using Claude here, one of the prompt here. And then the prompts I just make in Gemini. So both of these I do on a different both of this account. So this is from like uh, the Claude prompt, as you can see. This is the prompt and this is the result they have made. It's totally great. I like it, like the color combination they made and the story what they made, I like it. Also, this is like interactive as you can see before and after. That's pretty much good, I, I, I like it. And again, here have a pricing options. Then if I hover, then it's in the color. And also like a scrolling testimonial section. Here have a FAQ that's really working fine. And if I just click, it's not gonna work maybe. Uh, yeah, it's not work, so reload here. And also let's see how, it, is this responsive or not? So let's go at this tablet option, it's totally responsive. 
Let's go to the mobile. Let's see how it looks like. On the mobile, it's also good. Um, it's fully responsive, as you can see. Okay, now let's go to the Gemini one, what they made. A Gemini one is much more better, I think. This is, looks much more modern, but since my website color is not so good, um, the result is kind of like so much color here. But overall, if I look at this, this is really good. Um, if I see the mobile version, uh, yeah, this tablet looks good. If I go to mobile, uh, yeah, mobile is also good here. Um, looks really good. I, I personally like your the font combination rather than this one. Um, I like the font combination here. Also, the color is good, but looks so, so bright. Like this color, I don't like so much. This one is good, but not so much I don't like. Maybe we just need to work much more on the color. Anyway, as you can see, both of these good. And I will give you this prompt in my description below so that you can also check it out. Lastly, can Gemini redesign e-commerce website? So I try it definitely. So this is from Shopify theme store. I just picked the design and I just took the screenshot here and I go to like AI Studio and I just write a prompt uh, using Claude as you can see. And also I add as the image here. And this is the result I have found here. It's not so interesting, but it's okay if you like to get started. Um, that's really good, but it's this is not so interesting. Also, I tried Gemini. I, you know, for just take a help from to write an app. A prompt here so this is the prompt you just write in here and I also pick the prompt and also uh, just upload here the screenshot here as you can see and this is the output I get so this is the hero section <laughs> with a as I can see there is no continence button um, and this is the next section with the next section so overall if I want to pick something from this part of the design I want to definitely go with the design because I like the font they have chosen that means I like the font here what they have chosen uh, I also like the colors a little bit so I can also do the customization with the color so I can pick the font, I can pick the icons, also I can pick the, some of the colors from there. Uh, maybe not so images, but some of the images I will take. So that means, and right now AI cannot make a fully, you know, like, um, like, and a great e-com website, uh, but it's gonna give an idea to the designer, like which font you wanna use, or which color you can go away, go with. So like this type of idea, they can easily give to the designer and they can follow it uh, easily. That saved a huge time, uh, if you see. Now let's compare Gemini 3 with ChatGPT 5.1, Lovable, Claude, Figma Make, Bolt AI, and Stitch. So first let's go with um, Claude, and as I can see, this is the result we have just scared. And if I just compare with my previous result, uh, those are really great. I don't really like Claude's result, definitely. Let's go to this Lovable one. This is a bit better, but not so much, I can say. Um, yeah, this is a bit better if I just compare with uh, Claude to one. And if I go to Figma Make, then this is also good, but not really how I just want. Uh, not so good. Uh, <laughs> look like this, have uh, spacing issues a lot. Um, yeah, a lot of spacing issue. Uh, but previously I tried with Gemini 3, it was good. Um, but if you try on only Figma Make, uh, the result is not so good. Uh, but if I try with a Gemini 3 plus Figma make, uh, the result is really good. Um, okay, now let's go to the next one is Teach one. And this is the result, as you can see, we get. Um, this is totally frustrating, I don't like at all. Let's go to the bold one. This is gonna be better um, because we can take the colors and also the fonts uh, a bit better is here. Um, but if I compare with the Gemini one, I think I personally like the Gemini. And also their, their icon is totally different. As you can see, this icon is a bit different, but the menu is not ready yet. I mean, it's it's need to be fixed. It's look like a mineral, but it's need to be on the left side. But you can just reply to the prompt uh, to fix that. Now, lastly, let's go with ChatGPT 5.1. And this is speed pattern, as you can see, and I really appreciate our, you know, like our, our build because um, every single website, if you compare it, as you can see, this is an e-commerce website, but they mostly forget about it. Every single platform, they forget about it. It's an e-commerce website, but in our design, uh, our build, they have done, as you can see, 
um, they do here and a filter here is a filter as you can see and also if you scroll down a bit then also have the product cards and people can directly add it into their bucket so they can simply select the size and they can add it so this is pretty interesting uh, if I just compare with all of the platform then they did really great also if you look at the fonts it, I personally like it fonts and colors all looks minimalistic I personally like it so if I compare with Gemini 3 I really like Gemini 3 and also uh, Aurable definitely have here this Gemini 3 Pro so you can directly use here and yeah so if you wanna go with free then I, I recommend to you you can go with Gemini 3 the result is good if you only want to choose font colors and images but if you want to try something different and want to page something you know then you can go with aura build uh, but for free you can do maybe 10 prompts per month every single day three prompts um, but if you just go with the premium then it's increased the limit Before we go, here is an ultimate hack. What if I told you that you don't need even need to write a prompt yourself? You can ask AI to write a better prompt for you. And here is a how. Step one, think of the website or idea that you wanna design or redesign. That's it, you don't need to be specific. And step two, open Gemini 3, ChatGPT, Claude, and paste this meta prompt. This one I'm talking about. So what I did here, if you see my example in Cloud and Gemini, then as I said, I do the same thing. So first of all, I tell them like, let's be my prompt engineer and don't need to reply. I do the same thing here also. And then I just copy paste the prompt that you can see here. And this is our meta form. And I just do a little bit customization. For example, um, inside of here, I just copy paste all of the content from the existing website. So if you look carefully, then this is the bracket start here and all of the content from the website, I just copy and paste inside of the bracket and here is the end here. And here is the rest of my prompt and also I tell them to follow my screenshot. And they did it and here as you can see, they read a really big prompt for me, but I then I tell them to uh, just make it compact something and they just make the compact prompt. I do the same thing on Gemini. I do the same prompt as you can see on the inside of the bracket. I just copy paste all of the existing content from the website and I kept the rest of the prompt same. And after this, as you can see, they gave me this great prompt and using this prompt, we just generate this website. So if you want to do customization more, then you can do, for example, in this target audience, you can just write, let's say, if you wanna add the age here, age gonna be 21 to 35. So you can be more specific if you really want. Also, if you wanna go with the specific color, then you can just write here third bracket and just directly paste here the color code that you like to go ahead here. Like this comma, then again, write the color code like this way, then again, color code like this way. Also, if you wanna add something specific, let's say ingredient or gradient color, or you know, like a box shape or any, anything, you can just be specific inside of an air prompt and so that the AI can understand and write for you a better prompt. So this is the way you can do it. The beauty of this, like you don't need to design knowledge. You don't need to be specific. The AI helps you to better AI prompting. You can iterate and refine in a second. This is honestly the future of creative work. Let the AI help you better at asking for what you want. All right, so that's the video. Here is what I want you to do. First, go try Gemini 3 yourself right now. Use one of the prompts from the video or create your own. Reply in the comments with a website you redesign or design. I'd love to see what you create. Secondly, if this was helpful, smash this like button and subscribe for more AI and web design content.